One question I get asked from time to time is, is it better to buy an old flagship phone or a modern mid-range phone? So today we may be going to answer that question by looking at the Realme X2 with the Snapdragon 730G and comparing it to the Google Pixel 2 with the Snapdragon 835. Which one do you think is going to win? Well, let's find out. So we have the Realme X2 with the Snapdragon 730G on the left hand side, of course that is from 2019. And then we have the Google Pixel 2 with the Snapdragon 835 on the right hand side, of course, a flagship device, a flagship processor from 2017. Now here we are looking at very, very different configurations. We have, of course, in the 730G, just two high performance cores, two Cortex A76 cores and six Cortex A55 cores and a max clock speed of 2.2 gigahertz and then in the Snapdragon 835 we have four Cortex A73 cores so two generations before then four Cortex A53 cores so the older generation of power efficiency cores but a max clock speed of 2.45 gigahertz so really a quite a different mix and match here of cores core designs core configurations clock speeds what's going to be the difference through the CPU part of the test and as I'm saying that the Realme X2 with the Snapdragon 730G is into the 16th thread test so clearly a, a big lead being built up here is it's almost going to reach the end of that i think before the google pixel 2 gets to the end of the compression test that's interesting so the compression test ended now it's going to the 16th thread test just as the realme x2 was going into the blur test which of course the beginning of the mixed cpu gpu later on in a few moments we're going to hit the gpu intensive test and here we're going to see the flagship Adreno 540, so the flagship device from the 5 series against the Adreno 618, so a lesser 6th generation Adreno against a flagship 5th generation Adreno, which one will be better? And as we're into the smoke particle test, they're 21 frames a second by the Realme X2 if the Snapdragon 730, as it now goes into unity test. So the unity test now the beginning of this GPU intensive section, we're going to see how it managed to get its way through that. After this, of course, comes the Unreal test, both Unity and Unreal, two of the most popular platforms that are used to write games. I'm testing both of them here to see how these devices will perform in real life situations. Now on the right hand side, we should get the smoke particle test number in a moment, 21 frames a second on the left, 11 frames a second. So there's a big difference for starters that the 618 was able to do much better in that 2D test. And as I'm saying that the real me x2 has finished the uh unity test now into the unreal test that's only the pixel 2 is getting into the unity test so unless the pixel 2 can really just fly through this in just a flash of an eye in this the twinkle of an eye there's no way it's going to be able to catch up with the real me x2 as it's now moving its way through that forest through that very complicated forest scene and as i'm saying that though the google pixel 2 has now gone into the unreal test as well let's see if it no there we go two minutes 30 39.1 for the Realme X2 with the Snapdragon 730G. On the right-hand side, the clock is still ticking as the Google Pixel 2 with the Snapdragon 835, that's the Adreno 540, uh, in this GPU test is coming to the end of its test run. What's its final time going to be? Here we go now, 2 minutes 55.2. Okay, let's break down those results and see exactly what happened. So as we all saw there, the Realme X2 with the Snapdragon 730G came in first, two minutes, 39.1. Then just over 16 seconds later came in the Google Pixel 2 with the Snapdragon 835. If we look at the CPU time, one minute 04.8 for the Realme X2, one minute 21.1 for the Google Pixel 2. So a clear win there by the Realme X2. And then we get to the mixed CPU, GPU again, 30.1 for the uh, X2 and 45.3 for the Pixel 2. So again, another clear win by the Realme X2. But when we get into the GPU, things are a bit different. 104.1 for the GPU in the Realme X2, but 48.6 for the Google Pixel 2. So clearly it did manage those UT and Unreal tests just quite a bit faster, actually. Uh, more than 15 seconds faster. However, it wasn't enough to catch up in the deficiency for the CPU and the mixed. So overall, the Realme X2 won with 2 minutes 39.1. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why don't you stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.